Today we're making a wooden sheath for any saw that you have in your shop. Everything we're going to learn is absolutely transferable to what you need, so take a look and get her done. Let's hop in. This is the Fisker Power Tooth Tree Saw. Had to take a bunch of stuff down in my backyard. Oh! Oops. I'm absolutely in love with it. Has a perfect handle for the size of my hand. Super sharp, cuts through trees like butter. Comes with a lifetime warranty. But what it doesn't come with is a sheath and I've already cut myself on it twice. We're gonna be doing a layered sheath. So there's actually three layers of 3 16 inch thick wood that we're gonna be using, which gives us enough clearance and not a lot of wiggle room, which is really nice to have a nice tight sheath. You're gonna see me using Starbond thick and thin CA glue in this project, as well as Starbond accelerator. This stuff makes everything stick in seconds instead of minutes. I love it, it saves me time, so it's a constant in my shop and it should be in yours as well. To start, I'm gonna take this inexpensive 3 16 inch thick board that I got at a local craft store and cut it into three pieces. Grabbing just one of the pieces, we're going to lay our saw on top of it and we're going to outline around the blade to help us figure out which areas we're going to remove and which ones we're going to keep. Now you probably don't want to cut it out the way I'm cutting it out and that's good because the way I'm cutting it out, I'm comfortable with. If you're not, don't. Uh, if you want to cut it by hand, go ahead. You want to use a jigsaw, go. You want to use a laser, whoo, you have my blessing, please do it. It would be awesome. After you're done, it'll look like this. Next up is to attach those pieces that we just kept, which I've colored green here so they're easier to see, to either one of the outside layers of the sheath using Starbond Thick. Make sure at this point your internal saw blade fit is nice and tight. If you have any major gaps, you might want to fill them with some pieces of wood like I did here, but remember, before you permanently attach them, make sure your saw still slides in and out of that sheath nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. So now that we're at this point, we're going to remove this and we're going to start taking off some of this outside. It's just too thick. We don't need it to be there and we can make this much more streamlined by taking some of this mass out. Now that we've removed just a ton of the mass out of this thing and it's much more streamlined, what we're going to do now is go back and reinforce all of these seams where the two pieces of wood come together. And we're going to do that using Starbond Thin. Now this needs a little bit of instruction because Starbond Thin is a wonderful but evil tool in your shop. This stuff runs thinner than water. It runs like alcohol. So you never need to squeeze the bottle. You can just tilt it and it will come running out. You can see here how hard it is to control, but it is wonderful for this application because it really lets you soak the area thoroughly. Now that we have the two layers done and refined and slimmed down, all we need to do is attach them to the third layer using Starbond, trim off the excess, and drum roll, please. All you need to do is sand down those sharp edges and this thing is ready to go. I love simple, useful projects like this for your home shop. If you did too, please consider subscribing and checking out some of these other videos of projects I have going on. I'll see you guys next time. Be well.